Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome in, everybody. This is episode 63 of the Streamers Paradise Podcast. I'm Hazy. We got Clutch and Bo. What's going on, boys? I think I'm muted. Hold on. Ready? Boom. What's up, boys? What's going on, bro? How we doing? Feeling good? Chilling. Chilling. How's the new daddy doing? Yo, crazy, man. Crazy experience. I'm going, it's doing great. Everything is uh, going great so far. You guys want to hear the story about it? Yeah, let's oh, go. Yeah. I figured for sure that that would be the first thing that we were talking about is uh, yeah. the fact that you just had your daughter. You're not a first-time father, right? But you're a first-time girl dad. Yes, first-time girl dad. Um, I have a seven-year-old son, and... Um, so I kind of like knew what we expected. The original due date was July 14th, which July is 14th, which is technically today, right? My daddy uh, gets home on July 14th. Make a move, <laughs> and the bunny dies. Come on, you know the movie? It's uh, it's Nicolas Cage. What the it is definitely Nicolas Cage. I know the movie, but I can't. Come on, can't somebody's remember. got it. <laughs> Somebody's got it. You got to say it. We can't go any further until we fi- find out the movie. Mom and City, thank you guys so much for the resub and the bits. I love you all. Come on, it's Con Air. Fuck you. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you, Big C. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. At least somebody knew it. Steve Buscemi was, like, perfect for that, that role that he played. The Dahmer role? All right, I'm so yeah. sorry. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Clutch. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, yeah, so it was supposed to be today, technically, on July fourth. Um, basically, Brittany woke up, I guess, with contractions, with what she felt all day, right? Um, it was different though. We we, we did it, I guess, taking it serious because it was timed weirdly. Like it will happen first every seven minutes, then it will happen like every half hour, um, and then it will be like every twenty minutes. So it was like the time was just so off. Um, it was more towards the night that I guess she got more aggravated with the pain of it, you know? Um, so at night, I was like, you know what? Might as well just go to the hospital. We might as well get checked out. Um, it is July 4th. It's like almost uh, le- like 10, 11 o'clock at night. The, the streets are bad because the cops everywhere blocked off the roads, smoke in the air from all the fireworks. Whatever. We get there, right? <laughs> and I kid you not, we get in. And that they're admitting us for the information um, to be able to take our information down. And, and they're checking there at, at the same time. And at that time, with that, by the time we got to the admitting room, she was seven centimeters dilated. What? Yeah, seven centimeters. So all wait, right. how much time was that? How much time did, had went by from when you were like, all right, let's go to the hospital to getting into the room? That, that so the hospital the waiting room wasn't that bad it was like quick five ten minutes we went to the admitting room right and this is I guess you seven meters from being in labor all day is basically what it was um however as soon as we're in the admitting room we're supposed to go to the labor room they're like giving us the options if we want to take it to epidural and whatnot right and at that point we're like the doctor's about to go out and get some extra information or something like that Brittany water pops. <laughs> Brittany water pops like in that in admitting room, and I kid you not, ten minutes we had Daniela. The fire. whole, the whole thing just went down out of nowhere. She stopped feeling the pain. She had a push, and yeah, she went natural. Brittany was a champ. I, I couldn't believe how fast it was. Like if I was in the car <laughs> ten minutes longer, like we would have been in the car having the baby. You know, like that. That's how oh my insane God. it was. Shit, <laughs> I wasn't yeah, even really. thinking that. Like you waited ten minutes longer. So, so you want to know something with th- that's crazy about that is that you said it the day before, in one of the higher chats. You were like, you think it's Braxton Hicks? Um, yep. I was gonna say because I remember you saying that. I, I remember think that, you saying I, that in chat too, and I, I was gonna chime in, but no, no. I think that was that was an admin chat though. So nobody nobody knew that that was going on except for us. But we were like, all right, them shits are no joke. I remember saying like, this is this is. It's coming, or it's if it's Braxton Hicks, then it's you know it's not gonna come. It's just gonna feel like it's coming. But fucking hell, man! Yo, oh, the timing had, could have been more perfect, to be honest. I mean, I guess I I, I didn't think I thought it was Braxton Hicks because it was ten days early, technically, you know. But yeah, I guess she was ready to come out, bro. I got a July Fourth baby now. 
That's fire, bro. <laughs> you know Cheese Sisters born on uh, 4th of July? Oh, really? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, bro. Let's go. Yeah, bro. Come at- the birthday party is gonna be insane. Yeah, man, this it, it, it was such a crazy experience for it to go that fast, you know. She once she uh, went into labor. She was only in labor for like 15 minutes. So I, I we experienced the same quick birth thing, but she yeah. labored in the hospital. She didn't labor at home. So like we were there. We were in the waiting room for like two hours. It felt like not even a joke. They were really well. <laughs> Apparently there was a lot of babies being born that that weekend cuz we went in we went in on a Friday remember we 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 um I didn't do VIP I missed VIP Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that okay. Um yeah It was quick it was like once it happened but that is wild Yeah wild we didn't even get to the labor room but I guess it was it was better like that you know I mean she she got it over with quickly and we so, stayed in the hospital for two days. We were chilling. Is she sleeping? She is, yes. Like, she's getting her three hours of sleep. Um, she's eating two ounces already at this point. She gained back her birth weight. We actually got a check today. Uh, so, yeah, everything's on the right track for her, yo. She, she's fucking amazing right now. That's fire, man. Bless you, really. Cause, hey, thank cause you, guys. I, I, I never experienced anything so crazy. What I wasn't expecting was the complete disconnection of like that moment you know like uh, like i feel like a lot of fathers experience the like the this this overwhelming like i don't know mothers too you know what i mean i think some people feel like instant connection and other people are just so taken back by what they're feeling they don't know what the fuck they're feeling you know what i mean like that's kind of i think that that was for me anyway it took me a couple days to come out of the clouds like I was, I was in the clouds for a few days. I, so I guess that's my question: Are you in the clouds, or 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 have you, since you've experienced this before, are you are you kind of grounded in the situation? I'm I'm definitely in the clouds of it. You know, as a baby girl, that's the different situation about it. So like I'm like so in love with her. Um, I I do feel the being exhausted already. <laughs> like just, just even a couple of days in, like those first few days, I was exhausted, and I remember the same feeling when I had Lucas. So I was like, I'm preparing myself more for that. I think it's more harder because I gotta balance Lucas too. You know, like I have him; he has his summer camp, little activities. So it's like literally trying to like take care of everybody's was getting me more exhausted. I feel like you know. <laughs> well, the the newborns are no joke, and and uh, Brittany's very open. Uh, on Facebook about how you guys are not breastfeeding, you're doing um, you're doing formula. So are yeah. you on formula duty too? Like you got to get up in the middle of the night, feed the baby. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Hell exactly. yeah. Exactly. I mean, she's, I, I, we're, being, we're being more like half and half. Like she's actually being more fair with it this time. Cause I was like, like that all the time with Lucas. Uh, but I told her I couldn't be this time around because I got work now, you know? So it's like, <laughs> we're, gonna have to, we're gonna have to balance it out now for sure to get prepared. I go back to work this Monday, so. Um, so you only took a couple of weeks off then? Yeah, basically just a couple of weeks off. Because it's impossible to survive if you take any more time than that. Yeah, it's fucking, it's like, they make it, they give you nothing. They're like, yeah, we give you paternity leave. Yeah, we'll give you the leave, but, but we're not going to pay you. Of, <laughs> best of luck surviving. Yeah, we're not going to pay you. They're going to give you, uh, I think it's like $150 a week or something fucking crazy. Like, like it's, Really? I'm not joking. That's I'm even not worse. Laura, I think when Laura took, see, when Laura took um, maternity leave, it was, I think she was getting like eighty percent of her paycheck. So it was. That, it was that's decent. because of her job, though. Like yeah, her yeah. job was paying a lot of whatever she was making. Yeah. yeah. So depending so, on the, so on we, the company, she was able to take like full. She was able to take full, and at the time I was self-employed, so I, I took a couple of days, but like I work from home, so it's like. I was just very judgmental on what I took, like for real estate. I was like, "Yeah, it's not worth it. I'm not showing that. I'll pay yeah. somebody to go do that." But, like, uh, when she was born, like, but the cool thing is when they were both born, like when she was in the hospital, I went with her and I, uh, I stayed there the whole three days. I didn't leave. Like, I mean, I left to go get shit, go get her some stuff, go get her food, shower. But yeah, I don't know. Like, again, my her job was paid a good like twenty percent. Yeah, it is very low. It's a, it's a. It's it's a blasphemous uh, situation. 
like, uh, like, like we've come a long way in the ter in terms of like allowing um, the time, but the money doesn't. You don't get paid. Like they protect your job for that amount of time. That's what it is. Yeah, it's like oh, we won't replace you, but you know. We won't replace you for 14 <laughs> weeks total, like tops, because you can get up to 14 weeks. I you think. can, yeah, you can take some extra time. But um. We didn't do that because we needed the money. <laughs> yeah, we're we exactly. We needed another 20. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, Daniela, what's her middle name? Daniela Ellen. Daniela Ellen. And then Sir knows my last name. Right. Uh, yeah, we went to Ellen. She's a uh, Brittany's mom that passed away. That's her name. So we went with that. And yeah, man, it's been a fucking blessing, bro. It's been a blessing. I'm enjoying the experience. I do believe she has um, she has Brittany's look. I see Brittany's face in her for sure. She's got like the ch whole cheeks, like this whole <laughs> this whole thing here. I was hoping that she was going to be awake so we could see her live in the flesh, but... You don't wake yeah. a sleeping baby. You don't. She's passed out right you now. You don't fuck with them. <laughs> Literally just fed her before, right. just, you know, so whatever she's good and whatnot. But yeah. I thought whoa, I just whoa, heard whoa. mine scream. <laughs> I thought I did. I didn't. I don't think. It's funny because it's, it's like yeah, it's kind of how it goes. Like I'm always like I'm sitting here, like I'm sitting here, and I have an air conditioning vent right here, right? Man. This is the last vent in the trunk, but the second to last vent is my, is like my upstairs. So when they're going crazy, sometimes I'm like, Yeah, you can hear. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I hope they don't come down here. <laughs> Stop cursing. We're going clean. I'm trying to, Mom. That's, oh, that's true. She's not wrong. I am. I'm trying to stop cursing so much because I would like to venture into the more family friendly uh, streaming thing. Like, I would like to. Because that's really what prevents me from being family friendly is just my mouth. The, the you know what language. I mean? Yeah. yeah. My language is so yeah. bad. I have such a bad mouth. I curse all the time. When I'm happy, I curse when I'm angry. I curse like just every in everyday sentences all in all conversation. And it's probably yeah, no, a bad it's thing. So bad. Yo, RJ Mono, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. <clears throat> What's up guys? This place seems cool as shit. <laughs> yeah, I know, Mom. I get it. Um, I, I do that at work. Like, at a corporate job, I'm like, I go to say, like, like, fuck, right? Because it's like, I don't know what else to And I, I'll, like, pause, and, like, as I think about a word, like, I have to think of another filler for it. Like, what do I fill that, that, what the heck? <laughs> what the, what the heck? You know? H-E double <laughs> hockey sticks. So, <laughs> so I wanted to, I wanted to discuss something, um, Hey, man, me too. I'm Scottish. I can't stop swearing. Cunt is like a term of endearment for us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The F word is something that I say, like, uh, it just makes, like, it enhances everything. And it doesn't. Like, yeah, this, is, this is how I'm feeling. Yes. This is... <laughs> and it, depending on which way I deliver the F word will depend on which way, you know, my yeah, emotions. Is. Yeah, where the emphasis is depends on. You know, I used to get so much shit for it when I lived in Amsterdam with Californians. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The California uh, California people come on over to Amsterdam and you guys are just dropping the sea bombs everywhere. There's just some Karen walking into some coffee shop completely fucking offended. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fuck, you can use for everything. You can. So, um... There's been a couple of people that have brought some things to our attention. There's been some ugly comments being made about Streamer's Paradise in certain places on the internet. And I just want to say that when that happens, it means you're doing something right. When people are mad at you, when people make hate posts, or when people say anything that is negative or untrue based off of zero experience, it's usually because like they can't do what you what you're doing and they want to. There's normally some type of uh, jealousy involved. That's just my experience, my opinion. Or they had uh, they have given us zero chance and uh, decided to to make an opinion. You know what I mean? Seasoned by salty haters. <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a there's a lot of that that goes around, and I just wanna I just wanna say if you see something like that. If you see something like that, do not engage with it. Just leave it alone. 
Ignore it. Let let them give us our. Uh, this is what uh, this is what they want. They want they want your energy. They want you to defend. They want you to come out of yourself and and feel anxious. And I'd be the liar if I said I didn't feel that shit when I read it. But after a little bit, I feel better, and I'm like, all right, this is. You know, because I'm human, right? We, we work really hard to make this place as fair and as calm and as drama-free as possible. So it is really difficult to read negative uh, feedback. You know, it's like, it's like a, I want to I comment and say, man, how, uh, how could I have fixed your stay with us? You know what I mean? Like, how could, yeah. I, how could I have made it any better? Because I'm really sorry you have... Uh, you have a, you had a bad experience. Misfit Magnet has the little bundle of joy. She's great. Actually, we were just talking about how Clutch just had his first daughter. It's his uh, second child. She is, how, how old is she today? She's 10 days old. 10 days old today, yep. 10 yep. days old. So that means all the babies that were due last year that were scaring the crap out of us. We were, <laughs> we were, we were in a panic. It was, first it was tooth that we found out, then Dingo, then me and Chi, then Clutch, all of these friggin' admins in the server, and our most active mod at the time. Oh my god, it was a lot to deal with. Cleve248, I'm very new here, like only a week, but it seems to be a very supportive like community. Oh, that's wonderful. Ten Thank whole you. months of stress. Ten whole months of stress. For I, re sure. I remember it was kind of like ten months of, of everybody. Every time I would hop into admin chat, I was like, "All right, how are we going to handle this? What are we going to do with this time? <laughs> how are we going to deal with the? Please no, don't okay, do it again." Like <laughs> Yo, it was really no joke. I'm gonna get back to what you said, Cleve. I'm I'm not coming off that. Um, but yes, it was it was very scary, man. It was scary <laughs> to think about, like. All of the admins are having children. Both owners are having are having a child, and it is definitely it is definitely a it's a different energy, man. I, I I tell you what, Munch Crunch is superwoman. Munch Crunch is a superwoman. Just so you know, <laughs> Munch does the most incredible things for this server, like. Like you wouldn't believe it. She she's like a she's like a chameleon. Wherever she's needed, whenever time, whatever day, wherever it is, she will fall into place f for that. Right? We're we're short in the morning and we're short the night before. It don't matter. She's up till two thirty in the morning and she's up at fucking four thirty in the morning to to make sure things are getting done. And she's got two small boys. She's got two small children. It's astounding to me. It really is. It is astounding to me. So I just shout out to all the mothers out there, for real. All the mothers out there that, that are full-time moms or doing it alone or whatever it is. Incredible. Watching my wife do what she's doing is, is just, it's so impressive. It's so impressive. I'm sure you can understand, Clutch, watching her, her give birth just a few days ago. For sure, man. It's amazing. It's crazy. You like the Game of Thrones soon? I didn't realize I was following you on the train today. Now I'm nervous. What do you mean? <laughs> Women are amazing. Don't be nervous, man. I'm glad that uh, your first time chat was you saying something about being new here. Only like a week, but it seems to be a very supportive community. If you spend time and you actually network and you, and you visit other people's streams... And you get, actually get to know the people in the community. It does work. This is not, we're, we don't promise people any type of fame or fortune. We tell them we can get you affiliated, right? And we can grant you exposure. That's it. That is all we say. That's all, that's all we, you know? Ask, yeah, ask mom. Ask mom, if you, if you do the things that we say to do, it, it, it does work. It's just people don't have the patience for it. It takes it takes time, you know. Sorry. I'm a quiet person. This is all new to me, including streaming. Only been doing it like ten days. Well, you're in the right place. 
You're in the right place to get it going and, and, and to learn. Junior Takeoff, thank you for the first time chat. I see you up there. I'm sorry I, uh, I didn't call that out. Welcome in. Very grateful for you. Teamwork does make the dream work. The thing is, is uh, unity. I've always said that if you have people that all understand what it is we're doing, right? A lot of people in Streamers Paradise are hobby streamers, right? They're, they're, they're streamers who enjoy streaming, but they're not trying to be ninja, right? They come home from work. They want to chill with some peeps. It's like... Not everybody's trying to be the next big thing. And that's a lot of times what people forget, too. You know, people forget that not everybody's trying to be the next big thing and that they like to stream inside communities and feel that camaraderie that we offer. I, I mean, if anybody can disagree with that, I mean, I I'd be surprised, you know? Mm. Hi, streamers. Yeah, no, hobby streamers. There's people. There's a lot of people who are streaming as a hobby, right? And they, they're very aware that it's, they're, that's what it is to them. You know, this is my hobby. This is not, a, not even, they don't even consider it a part-time job. It's a hobby, you know? What would you call yourself, Bo? Me? Yeah. Uh, a half-ass streamer. Not even a hobby streamer, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't know. Like, you know, it is, is for me. It's, it's like, it starts to feel like a job, right? I have OCD, so like, I, I not that I want to be like Ninja, but I want to have a Ninja-like stream, and then I start fucking with too much shit. You know what I mean? So it takes a lot of the joy out of it for me personally. That's why I don't stream too much. Half the time I stream, I'm fucking with settings. Like I'm, I'm literally like adjusting shit half the stream. That's a OCD <laughs> issue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it takes a lot. Like streaming actually takes like some of the fun out of gaming because I'm not paying attention to the game. Um, I like to interact with chat. So again, it's hard to play like a first person shooter and try to focus and then also pay attention to chat. <laughs> it is. It's a skill. So so for me, I'm, I'm a half ass streamer and I don't really do it too often. <laughs> Well, we actually, you, the, 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 I, the week that we had, that Clutch had the baby, you were streaming on the train. I, yeah, I saw, yeah, I streamed on the train. And it was like a full-time job. Like, I was trying to, yeah. it was like all over the place. <laughs> go back and forth. Yeah. To go from, like, not streaming, like, rarely ever, and then when you do, it's to, like, 10 people at most, to going to, like, it was, like, 90-something people. I was, like, Come everybody's on. talking. Everybody's, like, oh, it's Bo. We never see shit. So it was, like, yeah. Yeah, it was are... wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's kind of wild. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's it's a it's a lot of fun, and it is very much mentally draining, Misfit ma uh, Magnet, and and it, and it all depends on the view that you have when you're going into it, right? Like if you're really grinding and you're trying to get, you know, say you had ten viewers one day, fifteen the next, that third stream you're looking for twenty, and if maybe you have a fiver, that's gonna hurt hurts the mental yeah it's it hurts the yeah, mental sure. it hurts mm -hmm. the mental that is no joke that is no joke you can have the very best stream one day and the next stream have the worst stream you've ever had but that is streaming it is a roller coaster always always now granted there is that's the that's the that's not necessarily there's exceptions to the rule right there are people that jump in and for some reason, they just, they have it, right? We're seeing a few of those people come out in SP right now. They got something special. People are attracted to them. You can see it. Some people just jump in and it's smooth sailing, you know? Others, forever, just, it's a struggle. I've never really done incredible on my own, you know? That's why SP became a thing. Unity. Create unity. Let's help each other reach things that we couldn't reach alone. That's always been my opinion on it. But I consider myself uh, Discord full-time, dad full-time now, right? And, <laughs> and streamer is like the hobby, right? Part-time hobby thing, like... It, it, it has to be. When you finally get a break. <laughs> yeah, right? When, I'm, when I finally get some time. Now I'm streaming like today, we got a couple hours because we let the... 
uh, we, we gave our, our daughter to, to my mom t- for a few hours. And it was, it was nice to have three hours of uninterrupted game time. And back in the day, just two months ago, me and she could play for eight hours in a day if we wanted, and it didn't matter. We just had to make sure we took the dogs out, right? It was just a different energy. Carnage, thank you so much. It all changed now. Oh, yeah, it changes, man. Do you think things are going to change for you heavily, Clutch? Or do you uh, think your yeah. schedule is going to be the same, really? I'm, I think I'm going to slowly adjust back to my schedule. I think especially when I start working again soon, too. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. And, and content-wise, for me, like streamer-wise, I, I don't have high expectations, you know? Like, I think that's what people kind of, like, mess up at. Like, if you're trying to go in there, be the next ninja, you get those messed up streams, that would definitely do a mental effect to you, right? Oh, yeah. But that's why me personally, I'm not looking to be the next ninja. I'm looking to have fun with everybody. And I have fun with the most people on SP. Like, we, either, we, either we get dubs or it's just, like, hilarious content. Like, that's that I look for me to be a content creator, I guess, you know? And SP, I think, brings that 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 best out of me. And I wouldn't get the content that I get now without SP. Right. Filthy Mess TTV, welcome in. Thanks for being here with your first time chat. Guys, if you're new to SP or if you don't even know what we're talking about, hop on in. Streamers Paradise podcast is uh, a once a week thing that we started doing. How, wait, when did we start doing it once a week? I don't know when we were doing it once a week. We, it wasn't too far into it, I don't think. Before, before last Maybe it was like... I think before last Christmas, no? I think it was within the first year. Yeah. So we're well into a year. We're, I don't even know how long We started been, the right? podcast at almost 11 months after we started the server. Because we did it in November. I remember that very clearly. But I think that it was just like right in January or March or something, right? Because cause now we're in the 60s. So you got to think about it. 50, 52 episodes is a year's worth of episodes weekly. But we did them bi-weekly to start, but... Right, but there's 10 episodes, 12 episodes there. No, um, 8 episodes there. That would have been bi-weekly. If you think about that, that's several months, 8 episodes. There's 2, 4, 6, 8. That's 4 months of episodes. Yeah. Bi-weekly. Did we really go to once a week after only 8 episodes? I think it was more I think that I was just starting to get frustrated that it was every two weeks, and a lot of times what was happening is I was getting caught on VIP night, right? So, like, I was doing... Oh, because it was, like, every... Yeah, yeah. What was happening was I was doing it on... V, I was doing VIP, and then I'd have to, like, you know, stop for five minutes right after. and do the podcast right after. So you were getting two hours of hazy sometimes on Friday, and that was the most exhausting two hours, like, to do the VIP and be hyped... And then just constantly talk for the podcast. It was a lot. That's a lot of fucking work, man. It really is. People sleep on that shit. People sleep <laughs> on how much work the VIP announcements are. If you guys seen the fucking work that it takes to the do... The prep that goes into that. The prep, yeah. the back end that's happening in real time. There's, It's just so much. It's so much. It's so fucking much. It's 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 slept on for sure. I think so. I think so. I think it's slept on. Oh yeah. We did how it. We got it. What? Not that how we got to track every single stats, like all the information we give out. Like, that shit's so much. Updated every week. Every week. Daily though. Yeah, that yeah, that too. It can't be left uh, slept on. There's a whole damn script. There's, it's facts. There's a whole damn script, but. I think that a lot of people didn't necessarily realize it was a script at first. They didn't realize it was a speech. I think that, I don't know what people thought. I don't know what they thought. And I (laughs) definitely don't think that they they realized it was being written by someone other than me and Dingo. Right? Like, me and Dingo don't write it. It's written to us and sent. uh, because it's such a team effort, and I'm so proud of it. Like, written and proofed and proofed again. Yeah, dude, it's oh. so fucking cool. When you really sit back and think about it, it's super cool. So that's why when these... <clears throat> these... 
talk about us on Facebook, <laughs> it really bothers me. <laughs> Yo, mom, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. Let's go, check. Let's go. I heard the unedited version of that. <laughs> I don't, I don't, so, yeah. 95 I, was say, I, didn't, I didn't write this in chat. I want to tell you something funny real quick because I thought it, while we're still, before we get into, into haters. Aruba, somebody, welcome. Thank you for the first time chat. Go ahead. I think, I think it was Cod Lady. Especially the newbie, the newbie um, post because I get those pings. Yeah, me do. <laughs> okay. It was, how did you hear about SP? And I, I chuckled and I didn't write it because I was wondering like, if I could pick the name. <laughs> you wanted to, you wanted to be the guy yeah, and be like, "Cause I made it, I made it." That's why I, I, I have to just write it because I thought it'd be funny. Because I'm still getting like I, I literally picked the name, like I, I just kind of made it, and I'm still getting the newbie pings. But then I knew that if I wrote in Gen Chat, I was gonna get, I was gonna get tagged a lot, and I was like, I don't have time to, to do this right now. So, right, so as soon as you let it go, as soon as you showed yourself, it would have been a wrap. It would have been yeah, eight hundred like, fucking. Yeah. Pings. Yanni would have, Yanni would have not let me leave. Yeah, it would have been bad. <laughs> it's Yanni. So I was just like, all right, I'm just, I'm just gonna let it. I'm gonna let it roll. I'll bring it up on the podcast. This way, they all know I said it, but Yo, I don't have to get involved. Bo, 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 literally. Those of you who haven't heard the first episode of the podcast, I, I suggest we, we've been talking about doing a re-edit, like a re vamped version of that first episode like a 2.0 yeah a 2.0 version of the first episode of how we got here and then extend it to where we're at now um it would probably have to be a two-hour episode for sure you know what i mean because or well, the first episode we did two hours right yeah and we tried to script that and that was a horrible idea it was terrible <laughs> exactly. i wrote that whole episode out i wrote that whole two hours out it was fucked <laughs> It the took me. It took. Just... It took me like a month. It was just. Listen, it was my first attempt at podcasting. Okay, we figured out a bit of a. So it was all now. of our first attempt, right? Like exactly. We we're like, oh, let's do it. Literally wrote out an entire two-hour fucking script of everything I was going to talk about, piece by piece by piece, paragraph by paragraph. Like attached to different notes, attached to screenshots. Yeah. It was fifteen minute window here. Yeah, stopping <laughs> stopping for ten minutes to take questions. So, so it was actually I actually remember that and like there was it was such a bad format because it was so awkward when it was like fifteen minutes is up, we gotta go to the next topic. It was just like switch, done, like it was the flow was not there no. that didn't last very long though that lasted a couple i think no, it, of, it, maybe three episodes yeah no it didn't last of long us, like playing of us saying all right like the flow is just what ended up happening was we started realizing that the best content was happening the half hour before the podcast started right like the conversations yeah. we were having yeah. in the podcast that weren't scripted that had no topic of conversation was just a lot more fun and um, so that's when yeah, we, we stopped. Kind of like hop into the chat to get ready, and it's like, hey, what's going on? And it right. was like, and then we yeah. we we collectively agreed to not speak until <laughs> until so, right. So genuinely, now so, we <laughs> go ahead. Just sit, just sit together silently no, for thirty like, minutes. Yo, for real. <laughs> Just sitting there. Just, what's up, guys? But the camera, camera's yeah. wrong. You see people, like, stand up and leave, like, <laughs> come back with something to drink. Like. <laughs> Clutch goes and smokes 15 minutes before, he, before before podcast every time. Yeah, like clockwork, like clockwork. Like, like 45 on the dot, he gets up, and, like, 55 on the dot, he sits back down. Yeah, and I'm always live before he gets back. I'm positive <laughs> he'll be there. <laughs> yeah, it's... I'm always watching from the phone, to be fair. I'm always watching. <laughs> if I have to run, I'm out. <laughs> you got that little delay, just, though. I just, I, I just think it's so funny because it's like, we will sit there and it'll be like, yo. And then it's like, hey. And then, and that's it. Sometimes, like, just, uh, this, is, this, is, this is usually how it'll go. I'll go, what's up? None. Right? Nothing would be the answer. What up, Clutch? Yo. Right? And then I'll say something like, I want to talk about uh, Clutch's baby, 
and then the hater comment, and then we'll just, you know, bullshit about whatever we were going to talk about here that we're not talking about now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's we really how it goes now. I know sometimes, sometimes we do actually get into it, and then we're like, wait, 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 wait. wait. Yep, stop. Shh. Stop. Yep. Stop talking. It's, it's, a, it. it's a balance. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually like crying because I'm laughing so hard because it's so true. It is so awkward for like, it's like not how you treat your friends. Like, hey, <laughs> Frankie, don't even look at the camera. Frankie, like, no co eye contact. Frankie TTV, uh, TTV Frankie Dub. Thank you so much uh, for the follow, Carnage. Thank you for the bits. Um, but yeah, that's it. that is the format now. The format now is topics and then, but no, no scripted dialogue at all. Like just. Name the topics, let them know, you know, whatever it is. We and then and then that's it. Don't talk about them. Just don't talk to each other. Yeah, don't talk about them until we go live. It, the, the, it's definitely a different vibe. I, I I saw that actually in um, I was watching Joe Rogan podcasts, some of the older ones, and he used to have to spit out like fucking forty sponsors before the show even started, right before he was exclusive to, to Spotify and uh, and all that shit. Because now that he's exclusive on Spotify, there's not 800 sponsors, right? He's just, he's on Spotify. Um, but they would start talking in the middle of that. Like, he'd be, you, like, you could hear them talking about different things and, like, having real good conversation while he's trying to get out, get off these ads. And it was just, it was shit. You could see that they kind of, like, they learned from it, too. There's different. There, there's there's natural progression. The podcast has changed quite a bit. I do want to do more um, guests. I want to have more guests on, but I want the guests to have something interesting to bring. Like when Kirchie came on, he was this close to getting a partner, um, and like his community showed up real heavy in SP, and his community yes. was just like fucking huge. You know, we had like 150 people in that podcast. Um, I want to do things like that. I want to bring communities together and, and, and help make this place expand, bring more eyes to the brand. Frankie, I appreciate it was that. A, that was a good one. It was a good one. That was a lot of fun, too. He's almost exclusively doing uh, content now, not even really streaming. <laughs> He's, like, playing offline and just making TikToks. Yeah. Oh, TikToks. Just I remember he got, he got back into... Um... CSGO. Count, yeah, Counter Strike, yeah. and then he was like trying to hit me up to play, but I got, like, bro, I can't play in the middle of the day too much. Like, yeah, well, and he's, he's way better, bro. He's cracked, and like, I'm, I can't play in those lobbies. Like, I'll get, like, we won't be friends anymore. He won't talk to me because <laughs> I'll just ruin the games. <laughs> he, he, he is cracked. He is really good. Yeah. He is really good. Sadie Orr, yeah. welcome in, man. Frankie, how'd you find SP? I'm actually trying to figure out because there's there's a post that's going around that has our logo in it. It doesn't necessarily talk shit about us so much, but the comments underneath the post are kind of jabby and rude. And uh, I always wonder if people come in based off like something they see that's hateful or something they see that's good, right? Like, what is what are you more inclined to to click on? Hate comment things or like positive stuff? What are you more inclined to go and 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 check out? No, personally, I'm not checking out some shit where people are hate. Well, it depends. Man. It depends on on what the hate is, kind of, or what the what the content is that they're hating on. So I don't like negativity, drama. but if people like... are bashing, if I see a lot of people bashing something, I kind of want to know why. Right. Well, but... that's what I'm saying. So you see somebody bashing something. It might bring you in to take a peek. Yeah. And then once you get in here, you're like, wait, this place ain't all that bad. So if you come in with an open mind, right, or if you come in and go, you know, I saw this and it's fucking gospel, I guess it just would depend on your demeanor, your 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 motive. and, and If you go in with, like, an open mind, like, oh, let me see for myself. Right. Or if you bring that... That uh, was it like emotion, I guess, with you. Will you clutch? Uh, I don't know. 
I'm, I'm, he's I'm, like he's like listening for his daughter. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it, it depends on the type of content to me too as well. Like negative energy, positive energy. Like, I don't know. I, I like Jersey Shore, which is all about drama, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll tune into that. But then I like positive stuff too. Like like seeing videos on TikTok with like armor da- army dads, army moms going back home to their kids. Like I don't know. I'm into both. You know, I'm I'm open minded. I guess. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm uh, I'm not one to 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 seek the drama. If I see it, I usually get I usually get like um, I cr- I curl up. I don't like it. It makes me anxious. It <laughs> makes me like fucking makes me all jittery inside. I, you want to know what being a father's done to me? It's taken away the anger, right? So, do you know how when? Do you know that that anger is a secondary emotion? Are you aware of that? Are you are either of you aware of like how the psyche works? Not really, but I I, I get it. Okay. So so anger, right? Being angry is not something that you feel first. It's always something that you feel second. So essentially, there's only one thing that would make you feel angry, like on a scale of emotion. That's like not one thing, maybe a few. Being scared. Right, like being scared could could um, promote anger. Um, feeling sad, getting your feelings hurt. Right, these are things that instead of feeling the pain, instead of feeling, oh wow, that comment hurt my feelings. Um, uh, oh, you broke my heart. Oh, this right, whatever it is. Instead of feeling the actual pain and adjusting to the situation, that obviously things are going to be different moving forward. Instead, you just get angry, right? You just see you just see red. You don't feel the sadness. It's just fuck you. You know what I mean? Fuck you. Fuck this. It's like a self-defense. Exactly. It's a defense mechanism. It doesn't mean that it's the right way to handle it. It's just that's the way that that's the way that the human mind is designed to to kind of work. Unless you're aware of it, unless you're present and and aware of your emotions and how the brain works, you're always gonna jump to 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 angry unless you're able to you know women are much better at recognizing their emotions you know the ego doesn't cloud their judgment the way it does men and men's egos are normally what what that issue is right like the you you hurt my ego cuz that's the only thing that can be hurt on your body like mentally right if you're not hurting someone physically you're hurting them mentally and the only way, way that you can really hurt them is by hurting their ego. And the ego is not real. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a voice in your head, you know? It's, it's your inner monologue. Say what again? That women don't have the, the, the burden of an ego like men do? They definitely have egos, but they don't have them like, like, men, do. like men do at all. <laughs> like, I mean, I feel like that is definitely a common knowledge, right? I feel like there's no fucking chance women are burdened with the same level of ego that men are. Men have to be fucking right all the time. You know, um, so my point, my, my, my point, I don't necessarily, I feel like that is a thing. People say, oh, my wife always got to be right. I, that's not necessarily no, no, true. No, no. I'm saying my wife says that about me. Oh, my right. Yeah. All the time. All the time. She says, oh, you, you always got to be right. You always got to be right. And I said, it's not that I have to. It's, this is the fuck. It's not that I have to be right. I just am. Yeah, Treble, I'm not saying... I further prove your point. I'm not, I'm not saying that women don't have ego. I'm saying they don't have the same level of burden in the sense that men fucking fight each other physically, like, all the time over the <laughs> dumbest shit. My, my hubby said, words only hurt if you have never been punched. Words only hurt if you've never been punched. That's true. Yeah, I get it now. So, unless you've actually had someone physically assault you, you can't compare that to a word, right? Like, you can't compare, you can't compare it to a word at all. I agree with that, though. I, I, I agree with that. <clears throat> I agree with that. You gotta... Yeah, I get it. I get that. I do. Think about it, right? 
being physically assaulted, yes, you can heal from whatever it is, but I think that that is a larger hit to the mental than being called a name, right? Think about the violation of someone physically assaulting you, right? Think about that violation. It is, it is, it is the highest violation. Someone in, intrudes on your personal space and touches you in some way or, or, or hits you or whatever it is, and it's not a warranted touch, that can probably, that, that will definitely take a stronger hit on your mental than just someone calling you a name. But that's not to say that bullying's not real, you know what I mean? Like, bullying is a fucking thing, you know? Like, that is, that is for sure. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it's it's all about uh, it's all about situations too. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna sit here and say that people uh, are immune to to words. Words hurt. We're talking about how my feelings are hurt by. That's what I'm saying, right? That's where I was going with this. All right, back on track. Back on track. So having my daughter has made it so that way I'm not so angry when I'm reading these hate comments. I'm just feeling the sad part, right? Like. Like, she's making me more present. She's making me more aware of, of, like, my feelings and stuff. So, so that's, that's what I mean. Like, I read that shit today, and I was like, ouch, man, ouch. Like, fuck, that really sucks. You're hurting my not feelings. Even, yeah, not even, like, angry about it, yeah. but more like, what, like, what did I do to, to you? Yeah, right, that's how it felt. So, <laughs> so it was... That was the whole point of what I was saying. I wasn't trying to get on, on any kind of uh, a debate on being bullied versus being physically assaulted. It all sucks and it's all unnecessary. Nobody deserves it. You shouldn't be hurting people with words or with your or or with violence. It's not it's not like we're this 2023 we live in a different time, you know? It's like going out back and throwing hands isn't something people do these days. You know, they don't they don't do that shit anymore. They definitely did it when I was growing up. We had some, some schoolyard fights back, back when, mm -hmm. back when I was growing up. No, it was, it was a lot of a lot of fights over stupid ass shit. <laughs> growing up. Also, I'm lurking. Yes, nobody, nobody likes a bully. <laughs> I'm lurking. We don't, we don't tolerate bullies in this space here, right? This is a safe place. We should also not listen to haters. No, we shouldn't. But my point, that was my whole point of saying this, was that, was that I had some asshole on the internet hurt my feelings today. It lasted like, it lasted like a whole 25 minutes. It was, it was fucking mean, man. <laughs> it's <was> mean. <laughs> It was mean. I'm at the point in my life where it's I wish someone three. would. Well, it's it's like, how people will talk shit based off of something they heard too. To, you know, like they don't even know. So it's secondhand heard something, and then bro, they called this place a shithole. They said the word shithole. I was crushed. Were they ever here? Were they ever here? I actually, I don't think so. And that was the hardest part about it is like, I don't, like if you came here, you definitely changed your name and you weren't here that long because I don't remember you. And if you have made any nope. type of impact, out for a second. I said, I definitely don't remember the name. And um, if it was that person, they changed their name, right? So like they, they definitely changed their name because I don't remember that name. And I don't remember the picture. I don't remember... Like, I did a little bit of looking at the person that said it just to see if I knew who they were. But I, I can't... I don't know. I don't know who they are. So the fact that I have no clue who they are is frustrating, too. Because it's like, if you even... If you give yourself a second to talk to me or any of the staff, you're going to see that, like, we care. It's not a shithole. Right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe they just got it confused with somewhere else. They said the fact they heard Ray Train. That's that's where you know people. Yeah, have they don't like the Ray Train. People, uh, people, people think Ray. People do hate on Ray Trains. They think that they're against Twitch TOS. They think they're against Twitch TOS. Let me ask you something. 
<laughs> Let me ask you something. If they were against Twitch TOS, after all this time, just, just think about how many times I've been reported. Think about that. Just as the owner of SP, banning somebody, um, you know, them not getting a, um, a train S slot. The spot they wanted. Right? Just think about all of the little things where people get pissed off and they leave. Think about how many times I've been reported for being the leader of a ray train on the evil SP Discord. Think about how many times You're I've been fucking... leader. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sorry, I just leader. cursed. I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, but I realized I cursed a lot of before. I messed it all up for your family-friendly stream. I apologize. I'm trying to get better. We're going... It's right. Listen, it's still 18 and over at the moment, but we're going to work on this, okay? We're working on this. It's still, it's still mature settings. <laughs> we're working Guess. on it. I guess we'll be streaming the podcast for the channel. Guido TV. I will <laughs> stay to, I will stay hydrated. Thank you for thank you for that. Thank you for that. Welcome in. Um Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> haters. Just working on it. I am. Freaking I'm hate. working on it. I'm But I do mean it though. If you see if you see if you see that stuff, don't comment on it. Like, let people go and, and do what they do. Don't don't die on the hill trying to defend SP. It's bad for your mental. It really is. Arguing with people like that is bad for your mental. Don't, don't give them any energy. Just let them do it. If you see it, ignore it. Please. Yeah, it's usually the best thing. Because I wanted to let it die out. But two... It's hard to argue with somebody who isn't arguing off of facts. Oh, I get what Cleve was saying now. He's following me on the raid train. We're raiding him. Ah, we're raiding into Cleve from the podcast, and he's nervous now. Got it. Did you uh, get it? Did you get it before? I didn't, nah, didn't even see it. Uh, yeah, okay. it. I'll only ignore it because you asked us to. I appreciate that. Because a lot of, just about everybody that's in SP has come from Facebook in one way or another. Like, that's where the majority of Twitch streamers go to. They go to Twitch, uh, Twitch Facebook groups, then they'll get invited to Discord from there because they're much more personable. And they're much easier to control in the sense of, like, maintaining chats and drama-free stuff and not relying on the community to report stuff so much. It's like, Facebook has... a didn't Facebook just open up a Twitter thing called Threads? Is that what that is? was? That Facebook? Oh, yeah. Not Instagram. Yeah, I believe Instagram. I've that is heard. face. That's yeah, Facebook. It's meta. It's meta. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. So, it's a whole new app too, and everything. Yeah, I've Facebook. never. I haven't even looked at it, man. It's like, it's a, at some point, it's like too much. It's all it too, too much. much social media. Now Twitter, Twitter is on another level, bro. With Tucker Carlson now, did do you? Do, the shit is crazy. The amount of impressions that are, are on Twitter, 50 million people are, are looking at tweets that, that like a Twitch streamer posts. You know what I mean? Like, you, they might only get 3,000 impressions, like likes and stuff like that, but they show you how many people are viewing your stuff. Like, Mr. Beast took a picture of, a, of his, with his shirt off showing his, his gains. And like oh, seen that. crazy amount of people saw it, like a hundred million people or something saw it, or fifty million people, and he made a post the next day. Like, this is not. I shouldn't have this kind of power. Like that, fifty million people can see me in my underwear. Yo, cloudy, fifteen months. Oh, hey, they did make a new Twitter. Yeah, they did. Threads, fucking threads. I heard, I've heard about this. I haven't tried it yet. Side note, but, I yeah. like but I get online. <laughs> I, might gotta I heard about it, I, but gotta, I don't have any any desire to, to to actually look it up. I don't care. I don't actually. Like the most, most downloaded app in like three days, something like that, when it came out. Yeah, it, was it was the most downloaded app in three days? Yeah, something like that. I heard some statistics like that, which is, I mean, I said I heard a lot of people talking about it. Well, Zuck is trying to hang on to everything right now because he's still dumping billions of dollars into the metaverse. Like literally billions of dollars, and uh, I'm not sure how they're doing. I was excited about that, man. 
I had some Ethereum. I had my Quest. I was ready to get my Lamborghini and <laughs> start Ready Player Oneing this shit on stream, the whole nine. In fact, bro, speaking of VR, Scrubba just hit me up the other day and said that a Tarkov style VR game is coming to the Quest. Interesting. Okay, okay. How's he been? He's been I've been I've been talking to him a lot. He's he's around. Nice. Yeah, I see him I see him like hop online and play um some games over here and there. Yeah, he's actually I think he's live now. So he's a fucker. But he actually <laughs> he actually was talking about different topics for the podcast today. He was trying to get involved. It was cool. I asked him if he wanted to come back. Bro, Let's go. do I do I yeah, the 360 as soon as SP blows up, bro, I'll be able to afford one of those fucking things. As soon as as <laughs> soon as SP starts having a paying uh, uh able to pay its staff, I'll uh, I'll start saving for one. That'll be my goal. <laughs> That'll be my goal. Peeps, real quick before we uh, uh get out of here and go on over to Cleve, who is a masters on Apex. Which is, which is dope. Wow. He's a seer. Master seer. Seer's a good character, too. Yeah. What up, dude? In a minute. All right, Mom. Good night. <laughs> See you later. Um. Yeah, man. I don't even know what I was going to say. Before we go, I was going to say something, right? But I didn't say it. Don't hate, appreciate. Don't no, hate, appreciate. Oh, right. <laughs> before you, before we go, the premium subscriptions to the Discord. Check them out. Check them out. I really want to get this place to a, a new tier so that way we can make these prizes bigger. If we can get to 100, uh, 100 subscribers, we might be able to give away, like, laptops. You know what I mean? Like, nice. you know what I'm saying? Something that can help. Something that can, right. something that could do something uh, bigger than what we're doing now. I want to do more, and um, we need your help in order to do more. So, get on in there. No pressure, though, guys. Don't feel pressure. I just, I want this place to do to do more, and I want I want this place to do more for everyone. We got a hot tub. On the uh, let's go give away, we'll give a hot give away, give a, away. Hot tub. a friggin' hot tub, literally. <laughs> then we can start streaming from it. If, gotta, if I win, that's what I'm getting because then I can, I can stream from it. I'll start streaming again, make all the money. Love stream. Let's go, <laughs> really. A hot tub on it on it this month, so check it out. Um, I think that's so cool. We're gonna start doing yo, and Carnage won, he, he chose the ultimate edition of Diablo 4. Uh, so I imagine we're going to get to see him playing that game real soon on the train. Uh, congratulations again to, to, uh, to that for winning that. I want in. <laughs> Carnage roll with the... On the, uh, on the hot tub streams base? Or? Yeah, no, he wants the hot tub. Know <laughs> I, you know it already. <laughs> Yo, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you were there when he picked it. Yeah, he told me right in his stream that night. Witnessed it, yeah. <laughs> yep, so we, we definitely now. deliver. Listen, we deliver. We deliver. If we got something, we make sure you get it. Um, and uh, one last thing before we, we head out. The, uh, the, new, the new merch pictures in SP Merch, go check them out. They're fire. Uh, Wacko got his custom... Uh, his custom thing, and it is one of the nicest shirts that I've seen Yanni make. Um, fire shirt. He's got it all different uh, directions. Munchies in there with all her new stuff and her hat. Check it out. Like, comment, show some love. Guys, you got anything uh, you want to say before we go? To the next one, yeah. Yeah. Peace, love, and chicken grease or something. Till like the next one. <laughs> Peace, love, and chicken grease. <laughs> All right. Guys, it's uh 
It's always fun. I love these, and uh, they're getting they're getting more and more. Um, what do I what do I want to say? Um, I'm getting. I, I'm feeling better about them. Like I like that the numbers getting higher. Like we're pushing seventy. Like it's. I think that's dope. Like we're we're we're, we're maintaining. We made a commitment, and we're doing it. You know, it, it's yeah, sticking to it. Yeah, it's important. But they're fun. It's a good. It's like a good therapy session. It's a good hour. Like it's a good hour of relief. Like like uh, it's almost like a therapy session. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a good hour off of everything. Just yeah. chill. For Fact. real. All right, everybody. It's been wonderful. We will see you on the next one. Peace out. Peace out.